bed was one of the neighborhoods hit disproportionately hard during the pandemic. We saw numbers of black and brown people living in communities like this one getting sick and dying in greater numbers than, frankly, people who look like me. Many people see the 2020 election as one way to get after this inequality we've seen for months, years, and even decades. And one of those groups advocating for black voters this time around is Black Voters Matter. The future is right here. So we need the kids, you know, to be able to look up to something and to change the world. As you know, the Black Lives Matter, the movement, all, we, all people are looking for is understanding. Understand that you wouldn't want this done to you. And it's that understanding we found to be driving a lot of voters this November. It's something we heard echoed by Latasha Brown with Black Voters Matter, which tries to drive African-American turnout through registration, advocacy, and even legal action. When we're talking to young people, when they say, well, I don't believe in the process, we don't try to evangelize them. We said, well, we understand how you feel. Tell us what it is that you care about. President Trump did not appear to show much empathy for people of color when asked about growing up white and wealthy during a phone interview with journalist Bob Bob Woodward for his upcoming book. It put me and I think lots of white privileged people in a cave and that we have to work our way out of it to understand uh, the anger and the pain particularly black people feel in this country. Do you no, you, you really drank the Kool-Aid, didn't you? you? Listen to you. Wow. No, I don't feel that at all. But Brown says that pain, particularly historic voter disenfranchisement, is being felt now more than ever because of the pandemic. She says polling places in black neighborhoods have been reduced because of COVID, and policies of the last few years in some states have purged voters from the rolls and required exact signature matching, which can make voting by mail more difficult. Ironically, 80% um, of the folks who are literally dropped off for exact match are people of color. The bottom line is what we are seeing is systemic structural racism. We've seen a push for change of power structures lately, especially after the killing of George Floyd. But Brown says it's not just about criminal justice reform, and it never has been. We care about what everybody else cares about. We want healthy, happy families. We want to be able to um, work jobs, get fair wages, be able to take care of ourselves and our families. There's a lot more to my conversation with Latasha Brown. We're going to post a link to it as part of this story at pix11.com. In Bed-Stuy, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.